Hey everybody, Marcus Crawford here with the Idaho Quadcopter Channel. Hey, I am kind of by the side of my house right now and I've got a drone that I haven't flown in a long time. Uh, this is the Femi X8 SE 2020 version. Uh, and we just had an afternoon of big snowflakes uh, and it snowed. So I thought I'd take the opportunity to put this guy up and kind of just look at the snow in the neighborhood. Uh, it's This drone is advertised to be kind of weatherproof a little bit. So, hey, we're going to put it up in the air and find out. It's still We're still getting a little bit of precip. It's warmed up enough that it's a little bit kind of uh, rain-snow mix. So uh, let's put this guy in the, up in the air and let's see what we can see. Okay, uh, the drone is saying uh, that it's ready to go. We're going to shoot in uh, 4K30 in automatic. Uh, we got 13 satellites. Let's uh, start recording now. And I'm going to get out of the way here. You're not going to see it uh, take off from the ground, but let's, uh, let's do a manual takeoff. And we're picking the drone straight up, and we're kind of in a confined space here, so uh, so I'm going to kind of be careful. Let's uh, move it around here so you can see it. There, you sh you should be able to see it. But like I said, we're kind of in a confined space, so uh, so I'm going to go uh, I'm going to go straight up now. And there, you can see the snow in the neighborhood. And it's raining a little bit, uh, but not too bad. We're up about uh, 15 meters or so. Let me drop that gimbal down. And you can kind of see the neighborhood here. Let me do a, a yaw around. The drone is, uh, is operating perfectly. I haven't flown this drone in quite some time. It's been a while. But yeah, we got some fresh snow on the ground and I'm sure people will be out uh, clearing their drives and so forth. Let me uh, point the camera down so you can see where I'm at here. I'm right between my house and the neighbor's house there. So you can see this kind of little spot that I'm in here. Uh, so uh, yeah, pretty cool. Let's, uh, let's spin the drone around here a little bit. And we'll go out for a little, uh, a little flyabout and see what we can see pick up that gimbal and this is all going to melt off probably fairly quickly because I think it's supposed to be in the 40s but you can see my driveway is completely covered in snow so yeah let's pick that up a little bit and uh, and let's grab some altitude and we'll just kind of fly around a little bit and you know in typical uh, Femi fashion, we've got uh, a crooked horizon, a little bit of a crooked horizon. Uh, you know, I've seen worse. Uh, so, it, you know, and it's starting to level itself out. And the drone is right above me, so I got just a little bit of uh, movement on FPV there, or a little bit of uh, jittering on uh, on the FPV feed. So let's let's kind of move off here. And this is kind of a neighborhood park down here that we're looking at. Let's go kind of in between here. Take a look at this park. And uh, what you're looking at right there, that fence is around that. They're doing some construction there. That's where our, uh, our, our water pumping station is. Not for domestic water, but for irrigation water. Uh, here in Idaho, because this is kind of an agricultural base, there was a lot of irrigation water. So all of our yards are, uh, are uh, yeah, and there, oh, I just lost a little bit of, yeah, there we go. I'm facing towards the drone now. Yeah, you know, we're, FPV is kind of going in and out there. I'm going to grab some altitude and see if we can uh, do a little better here, because at lower altitude, there's probably more to block it, but... Uh, uh, anyway, as I was explaining to you, that area right there, uh, they're going to build a new pumping station there for our local uh, irrigation. And like I said, that's not for drinking water. That is for uh, irrigating our yards. And I'm definitely getting some break up on, uh, on FPV. 
I see a car coming around the corner there. I'm picking up the gimbal. And what you see out over there is uh, often I, I fly uh, drones from that school over there. I go over there to fly. So let's go over off over that direction a little bit. And we're just in normal mode here. And one of the reasons that I wanted to fly this drone today is school should pretty much be out. Yeah, they, although I see some cars still there, they, <coughs> they, uh, they should pretty much be done. So, uh, yeah, anyway, as you can see right down there is, yeah, and it looks like that, yeah, those are just dark spots where the, a lot of the cars were parked. Uh, but that's where often where I fly from, right there. Lower that gimbal down as we fly over it. Uh, but right at that uh, at that little spot at the end of that tree is often where I uh, where I take off from. Uh, so yeah, let's pick that gimbal back up just a little bit. And you can see it is a gloomy day today. Uh, and there's that little bit of a crooked horizon again and boy as you yaw look at that there it really gets bad yeah Femi has never been able to figure that out so uh, so we're just we're not gonna go over discovery school there we're just gonna stay on this side we're about 92 meters high and our you know that height will often uh, save you with regard to signal strength go out there we're not going to go over that road but kind of give you a look at the area here we fly here all the time you guys are all going to recognize this uh, or maybe you won't with all the snow on it but uh, yeah these are all what they call charter schools down here. Looks like there's still some cars there at that one. But boy, look at that. You just see a nice white landscape. So I'm anxious to see how the video off the SD card uh, looks on this drone. Uh, and, and you know, it looks like our, our uh, horizon is pretty much stabilized again. which is good. There's my favorite cell phone tower right there. Let's drop down a little bit so you can see that guy. And let's see, we're about 60 meters high. Drop the gimbal down. Let's, uh, let's see if we can do a uh, Let's see how good my uh, stick skills are and see if I can kind of do a little bit of a rotation around that guy. I see somebody walking their dog down there. And I'm getting a little bit of FPV breakup that makes it a little more difficult. But, uh, you know, I mean, this, this drone is... Uh, it's got good flight controls on it, you know. I'm not having any problem doing the rotation here. And again, this is the 2020 version of this drone. They have a 2022 version out uh, that, uh, that you know, I declined to purchase because, like I said, I already have a uh, this 2020 version, and I also have the 2018 version of this drone. Let's go over the top here, right here next to that, that little, what looks like a little uh, mobile home there is actually a fire training station. And this little spot that's kind of right in the center of the screen right now, you, it's kind of hard to tell in the snow here, but, but it's, uh, there's kind of a little hole there. And a lot of times you'll see when it snows, you'll see kids sledding there. You know, it's not like it's a big hill or anything, but it's enough to give them a little, a little excitement. OK, 
Okay, I think we should bring this baby back home. And again, I'm having to remember to, uh, we got 18 satellites, we got great, uh, great GPS, uh, but I'm having to remember to, uh, to hold the, the controller up to maintain good signal. And I definitely get a little bit of a uh, breakup on FPV occasionally. Let's drop down, we're heading home here. And the house on the corner there is my neighbor Hal. He flies drones. I gave him a drone and he flies the heck out of it. He really enjoys it. And we're bringing the drone down, kind of right above my street there. There I am. Let's uh, speaking of, speaking of uh, rotations. Let's see if we can uh, let's see if we can do a little orbit. In fact, I'm raising up because I know I've got some pretty high trees in my in my neighborhood here. So I just want to better safe than sorry. So there's no obstacle avoidance on this drone. Let's get up above them. And yeah, lots of snow on the roof. Kind of fun to see, uh, you know, this is, well, we're still in mid-January, I guess. I guess we could get some more big snowfalls, but, uh, you know, I doubt if we're going to get much more than this until spring, but you never know. We are, let's see, where are we at battery-wise here? We've got a uh, pretty fair amount of battery left here, 62%, so... You know me, I'm not one to, to uh, waste battery. Let's go back over the, uh, the neighborhood park here. And this park, like I said, it is, uh, it's, it's, it's a neighborhood park. So our homeowners association is who maintains it. It's not a city park. You can see they set up some benches and so forth there. And you know, occasionally the, we'll have a little uh, kind of neighborhood uh, picnic or get together there in the summertime, 4th of July and that sort of thing. And again, because I'm turned away from the drone, yeah, let's raise some altitude. Yeah, it went into return to home, didn't it? So we're gonna we're gonna stop that. Yeah, it's wanting to come home, so I'm gonna X out of that. And that was operator error right there because I was low enough and I wasn't pointed towards the drone with the sticks. So okay, let's kind of get back over the my part of the neighborhood here and there's our cul-de-sac right there Just go right down the street here a little ways. We're about 20 meters high. Let's see if I can get pointed towards the drone. And my uh, my FPV feed was uh, kind of breaking up there a little bit. And let's see if we can do another rotation here. No, we can't. Yeah, maybe. 
I lost FPV there completely for a second. And I'm kind of blocked by my house, but I kind of thought I was close enough here that it would maintain signal. Yeah, anyway, that was the best I could do there, folks. That was not very good, but it is what it is. Okay, let's bring this guy home. Yeah, and I really overshot because my, my FPV feed was breaking up there, so let's bring her forward. And see if we can bring it home here. Wow, I'll tell you what, I'm sorry about those quick yaw movements. Yeah, it's uh, what, you know, I was kind of, the FPV feed was kind of spotty there. So let's see if we can bring her down here and get a decent landing without uh, running into the fence or anything else. Yeah, right over the top of my head, huh? There we go, let's bring it down. And I'll see if I can get it right on the uh, landing pad here. So one of the reasons I wanted to fly this drone is because my friend uh, DJ Alex Marks was telling me that he had a firmware update on his and he was having some problems with it after the update so I wanted to see how it flew and uh, boy that thing blows some wind more than what you think uh, and in any case let's go forward just a little well I'll tell you what you get it in these these close to quarters and it's uh, it's a little bit nerve-wracking. See if we can get it over the top of the pad here. Straight forward. Come on. And it wanders around a little bit. Okay, I'm going to pull straight down. Hey, okay, uh, so, you know, that was a short little flight, and, you know, you just got to look around the neighborhood. I just wanted to see all the snow that fell down in the last couple hours or so, uh, and I wanted to fly the uh, Femi X8 SE 2020. Uh, not a bad little bird. I like the flight controls on it. Uh, is you, I don't know if you're going to be able to see this, but it's, you know, you can see it's kind of wet. I'm going to get it inside and uh, make sure everything's all dried off. But one of the things that Femi advertises was that with this drone is that it can withstand a certain amount of dampness and, and wet flying. Uh, so, you know, that's, that's why I picked this one. Plus, I had a charge battery on it. Plus, like I said, uh, I wanted to check it for a firmware update, which there was none. My uh, friend uh, Alex Marks uh, messaged me yesterday, and he, he is in uh, Greece, and he said that he had an update with his, and he had some problems with it. I didn't see anything. The drone flew just fine. You can see this kind of spot that I'm in here. It's a little bit of a confined space, so uh, it's kind of understandable why we, uh, why we had a little bit of FPV dropout and so forth, because I've got buildings and things all around me, and we were shooting that signal up. Uh, but, uh, you know, the drone just did, did just fine, grabbed plenty of satellites, perfectly stable, uh, did good, and, and bringing it down kind of in this confined area uh, was, you know, you know, it moves around just a little bit, uh, so I didn't get it on the pad, but we got it on the, on the pavement here, so uh, I guess that's about it. I hope you enjoyed this. It was just not much of a flight, really, but just kind of fun. Uh, this is Marcus Crawford with the Idaho Quadcopter Channel out. And if you like this kind of content, please consider subscribing to my channel. Most of all, I absolutely appreciate you taking the time to look at this video. And yeah, of course, we'll see you on the next one. Bye now.
Okay, this is your bonus footage. Uh, my wife came home from work, and look at this. She's shoveling. You know, she's a hard-working woman. I fly drones. She shovels the walk. There's my, there's my intrepid neighbor, Hal Chapman. Hello, Marcus. Hal, say hi to the good folks on YouTube. Hello, good folks on YouTube. How are you today? Uh, I was just flying a drone over your house, Hal. Really? Yeah. I took it up uh, to take a look at the snow. So I'm adding a little bonus footage. I'm showing my audience what a hard worker my wife is. I mean, look at this. Look at that. She goes and earns the paycheck every day, then comes home, comes home and shovels the snow. <laughs> Take it easy, Hal. Okay, honey, I'm smart enough to get out of the rain. She works so hard.